And good evening and welcome to the CTN Sports Game of the Week, folks. We have ourselves a special matchup here. Two highly ranked teams right here on the pitch over at Skyline. Celine's coming in. They're going to try to pull a sweep on the Eagles. Eagles are looking to be an upset special. Don't go anywhere, folks. The CTN Sports Game of the Week, up next, right here. And welcome back to the CTN Sports Game of the Week. I'm Kevin Bryant. Moments away from the opening kickoff between Skyline and the Celine Hornets. The Hornets come in here, of course, hot. They haven't lost all season. But don't slouch on the Eagles. They have not lost a match since they lost to the Hornets about seven weeks ago. So some redemption time possibly for the Eagles. The match gates going now. That's going to be the netminder for the Eagles there. And that is going to be Wixom, Kyrie Wixom in the goal. Number 25, Clint Fox. And goalie for your Eagles, number 25, Gary Song. So you got the Hornets in the and the white jerseys. Eagles sporting some brand new colors out there. Almost looks black on the, the evening sky here. Not a bad evening. Hopefully we have uh, the rain for, forecast is out there. But we're hoping that uh, the rain gods uh, play good with us tonight. Keep this match nice and clean with these two highly ranked squads. And the Hornets, they're sporting a different type of formation out here. You can see that there's it's gonna be a lot of action between the 30s. And they do that by bringing up a, a, a midi uh, and playing four midfielders. Something different for the Ryan Williams led squad. Coach Williams actually has a couple new players on his squad from, get this, Ann Arbor Pioneer. So we have uh, Noel Supa, as well as, uh, I think that's Charlie Rogers, and he's actually a senior captain. So that really improved their squad with that uh, two guys going just south, going to finish off their school careers down. It's, Saline High School. Now we'll have a throw in. Big contact right here coming up. Watch this shot here. A little bit long on that replay. 
we'll get right back to live action. Here's his first shot on goal. It's saved. Goal saved by number 25, Wayne Fox. That's Fox in the net there. Coming away with the save. And this comes off of a header. Watch the, it's a good ball coming in. Off of Zeke Gray. And with the header there, Zach Mitzel. He's only a sophomore. Kick there by the Celine keeper. Foxes out there. That's Quinn Fox in the net. His brother, Nolan, one of the middies. Oh, there's a big collision. See how the Eagles are pressing forward. A lot of long passes, not bringing it in with any kind of dribbling. Eagles, though, are still pushing up. Really playing from the outside. We've seen a couple good balls already. Great defense there. Coming in and taking a Zeke Gray, the junior for the Hornets. And Jamie Palms there. He's going to leave it for Kai Jurgel to throw in. The senior midi. In the first match, the Hornets got out to the early lead. The Eagles came back in the second half to put a goal up, but the Hornets is just too much pressure early on. It was an early season match for the Eagles. Coach Morgan, they've been playing well the last couple weeks. Celine is coming off a tie to Brighton. Let's take a look at this tie up action here. We're probably going to see a lot more of that play today. Good sportsmanship on both sides, but these teams, as far as talent wise, very even. Counter now by the Hornets. Don't see that too often. Player out there with gloves. You have a couple players out there with gloves for the Hornets. Maybe that'll be easier for the uh, official to call a handball if you see it happen. Outside of a keeper, you don't actually see too many soccer ballers out there with gloves on. Right now, the Eagles have to do a better job of spacing. You see two players right together. It's not what Coach Morgan wants to see. He wants to see people marking their player, playing that ball. Here's a, here's a breakaway opportunity. What a save. Great job. Unfortunately, the ball comes right back out for the Hornets. And the rebound 
That was just a great action there, folks. Love the stopping of those shots by Wixom. Watch this first one. Couldn't corral it, but he does a good job of keeping his eye on the ball. Pops up to his feet. So where are you going this weekend? And, I, and the way that he came at that ball adjusted the shot. So just at the eight minute mark of this match, both teams have had opportunities and the keepers have turned both shots away from both sides. That's Charlie Rogers right there. He was one of the guys that transferred over. Where have you heard that before, folks? Somebody leaving an Ann Arbor school going down to those guys in Salee. With these open school districts, though, a lot of these kids are following the lead of professional athletes of taking their talents elsewhere. And maybe just collecting a couple extra Letterman jackets, too. And now the Hornets. We'll trigger this one after the, looks like there was a penalty called, yes. Well, this is a good ball, folks. See the Hornets really packing that defense in front of Fox. Eagles doing a good job of keeping that ball in the air. Now for the reset. Strong effort there by Jurgle. Simone Jensen was involved in that action as well, too. Must be a throw in for the Eagles. I believe that was Jamie Palms. See the difference in style so far in the early going in this match where the Eagles are possessing the ball and peppering shots in on Fox. And flip side of that, the Hornets, once they've gotten a very good outlet pass, they take it right to the net. More of an aggressive style. So Quinn Fox will trigger it. That looked like a handball, easy call. That'll go over to the Hornets. See, this is an easy call here right off of the deflection. Another scoring opportunity from the 45-yard mark. So look at that ball, almost right to the mouth of the net. Great job there by Fox going up and meeting it at the apex. This will be a corner now. You can see Fox, he eyeballs this one out right to the post. It's a good job. Just putting that through. Does he get three points for that? It was a good deflection. And huge for the Eagles to put the pressure on the visiting Hornets with the goal here. They've had many opportunities in this opening half. Great passing going on for the Eagles. We'll have our first substitution of the night coming in for the Hornets. And it looks like it's going to be uh, Logan Dijanovic. Dijanovic. Uh, he's a senior for the Hornets. Triggered back in by the Eagles. 
Did a good job of holding possession. Quality shots on net, though. A little scarce. Scarce. Let's go with scarce. And here again, great outlet passes by the Hornets to trigger their offense. And they're very aggressive once they get down, not really setting and possessing the, the ball as much as the Eagles. That'll go out, and we'll have our first corner coming up. And who will be kicking it and striking it in? Looks like that's going to be Coletta. Surprising it's not uh, Ryan uh, Nichols. Uh, Nichols is a four year starter. There's a ball. Not a lot of uh, air put on that shot. There's a big collision. That's going to be Celine will take possession. Coming in with that foul was Palms. You see coming in on the backside, not really playing the ball, but just crashing into the man. Good job of keeping his uh, balance there was Charlie Rogers. So watch this, Ryan Grill, he's a left-footed kicker, so this ball might have an odd spin coming out. Look at this. Great punch out there by the keeper. And you saw on that rotation the ball coming in a bit different. And uh, Wixom comes up and punches that away, and it'll be a throw in for the Hornets. You can see that rotation. It's a side, it's sliding in, it's sliding in. Great job of eyeballing it out there by Wixom, the keeper. That'll be an offsides call. Change possession. So early action here on our CTN Sports Game of the Week. Thank you for tuning in. For the first 15 minutes, we've seen you know, back and forth action by both teams. Some shots on goal, but clean play. Oh, this is a great opportunity. Looking for his friend. Look at that. Oh, man. Yeah, the uh, Emerson right there, right on the doorstep. Couldn't finish that off. But the, the pass right on the spot. Nordlinger, uh, Roser Nordlinger, Logan on the shot there. Probably the best effort so far by the Eagles. And in that net, you can see. Watch how the keeper, Fox, is just following that ball. He's tracking it. Ball almost took him into the net, too. So another free kick here for the Eagles. Wow, now that's a good ball right at the mouth. Header. Shot. Oh, what a save by Fox. Wait, Chris Emerson, he's been involved in the last two plays, number 17 for the Eagles. And he's knocking on the door off of this shot. Oh. And it, it, you saw Emerson trying to angle right back to the right side, trying to do a cross cage shot. Just came off the bottom of his foot, though. Really couldn't direct that ball in. But the Hornets. You're, you're playing with fire right now. These penalties are mounting up, and those free kicks are giving the Eagles some great scoring opportunities. Looks 
exciting match so far from both teams. Substitution for the Eagles, number eight. Here's a turnover. Oscar Shiomi Jensen. Substitution for the Hornets, number 21, Dominic. The pressure's Ross. really turning up. That was an unfortunate strike there. Off of, uh, I believe that was Victor Fontana. Oh, couldn't be. Check that. That was. Uh, Simone Jensen, Oscar on that kick. Look, we still got some fans out here. A couple people wrapped up, but that's nice to see. We got Hornets out here uh, cheering, so we got to see if some of the Eagles are out here too. That's it's their home house. Here's another opportunity for the Hornets. That shot just wide. And it looks like that was Zeke Gray. Contrasting styles for both teams. The Eagles are more methodical. But the Hornets, they're trying to sting you right off, right when they get possession of the, the ball. There's Wixom, the keeper, triggering for the Eagles. Again, you see how there's about four, maybe even five middies and only two defenders back the way the Hornets set up. And that's why you've seen a couple breakouts by the Eagles. Maybe just have to be a little bit more patient. This throw's not gonna get close to the shot, but it comes right back out. There's a good strike. Couple times here. Here's Zach. Here's Zach. hey, use your head, right? Good job there from the defender. Seven there for the Eagles. I'm sorry for the Hornets. Learman. Now the Eagles get on their attack. They've had some quality passes, but they're striking. Has to improve to get that ball in the back of the net. There was an errant pass there. That second ball was just a little bit too high. For Bryce coming in. The Eagles need to level out the field. You saw five players for the Eagles right near the ball. Easy to defend. You can see these long passes. These guys are trying to set up maybe a header or a kick, and that just was a bit high. We don't have that much wind tonight, so. In our last CTN Sports Game of the Week where we had, I believe it was Pioneer and Huron playing, it was on a, on a pitch. It was just windy everywhere. Balls were turning and bending. Not tonight. Actually, a perfect night for to be outside running around. Or to be in a press box talking about it. Now, look at this. Great job by Wixom coming out. We saw some speed from him. see this play here a good job of coming inside official thought that was clean you can see him pointing right there that player played the ball and not the man nice drop kick there Well, no, 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 no. 
that's a different you know, I don't know, who do you who do you call Citizen? Yeah. Yeah. Citizen goes out and, and now the Hornets are taking it up the field and moving their offense up on the attack. Very skilled striking line. And that'll bring in some substitutions for both teams. Actually, Zeke Gregg's going out for the. Here's a check though. Oh, yeah. Let's see that. That was supposed to be a special over. Is that a, a backwards bike kick there? But either way, possession will go back over to the Eagles. 16, 30 left on our first half clock. Substitution for the Hornets. Number four, Brendan Foster. And number 15, Owen Fox. Now this is where, oh, look at that action. A little Curly Neal style handling the ball. Backside. Good effort by the Eagles. Playing that ball right out of bounds. Still couldn't take possession, though. <laughs> now it's turned back over. The style of play, though, the formation for the Hornets, they do not have a lot of folks on the offensive end. They play a defensive style, but once they get gain possession, they're very aggressive getting up field, but not with a lot of players. They're not a lot of passing. Shots right on goal. With this defensive formation, though, that's primarily why the Hornets have this stellar record, 11-0-2. You can see the Chris Morgan, his game plan is playing out to his tee right now for the Eagles. They're possessing the ball and putting pressure on Fox in the net, Quinn Fox. And as any net sport, I always say, the more times you're shooting on goal, more times that goalkeeper is just going to get tired out and you're going to open up a spot. The Eagles are really playing with three guys back on defense, so it's hard for the Hornets on their breakout style to get a one-on-one -on -one breakaway. As uh, the Hornets are trickling the ball upfield, you can see there's more people on their defensive side. Now the Eagles flip the field. Haven't had a lot of action to the left of the net miner. The Eagles spent a lot of time on the other side. It's going to be a long throw in, uh, not before substitution. Running back out onto the is uh, Logan. Rose or Nodlinger. That's him right there throwing it in. Still playable. Celine now will clear it. If the Eagles would like to get a goal off of one of those scoring opportunities, they're going to just have to have a, a better clean pass coming in. They've had multiple opportunities with corners. Actually, their free kicks from up top midfield have been uh, more efficient.
Hornets very disciplined and playing their style. Set their defense. Corner kick, skyline. Low kick, no air really on that ball. And you can see the Eagles are, they're marking that ball. They're playing more aggressive, but the Hornets just seem like, they, they can, every time the Eagles shoot, there's two or three defenders right there. Skilled effort and plays out here tonight. Look at this coming in. You can see how both teams are highly ranked in this state. Just a lot of back and forth action. And a lot of folks, look at that, a little look away pass and watch this right through the legs. Showing off the ball handling skills are the Eagles. Substitutions in for the Hornets. Substitution for the Hornets, number eight, Mitch Collette. I wonder how many times number 11 can head it to himself there. Also substitution for the Hornets number one, Brayden Now the Hornets finally on the attack. We haven't said that too often this opening half. A fast trigger. That ball's cleared. Staying with the Hornets. Foster. One of the captains will trigger it. Yeah. Check out Coach Williams. For the Hornets. Here's a one on one breakaway finally for the Hornets. Good drop pass. And there's a shot and score! A go for the Hornets. By number 13, Deep Gray. That was an excellent centering pass coming to Gray. Take a look at that one more time. That's Nichols, four-year starter. Just put it right on the right foot. And trying to play, it looks like uh, the keeper was playing the hop, and the ball just stayed on the ground. Wixom was eyeballing it. Did a great job in the first half of punching multiple shots away from the Hornets. That time, it looked like you, the, the keeper here comes up and just misplays it. Because he's playing it, and you see how it kind of looked like he was playing maybe a carom off the ground, and that ball just stuck on the ground like a bowling ball, and it hit a pin over there in the corner. We have a goal for the Hornets. One last time. Love that pass. So right around the 34-minute mark of the first half, we'll have our first goal off of the foot of Zeke Gray. He's just a junior. And after all those opportunities for the Eagles, multiple shots on goal, just like that, the Hornets are the first one to light up the scoreboard.
couple new substitutions you saw at the top of the screen coming into play. Trying to take a look at the body language of the players. You can see that goal really opened up the energy for the Hornets. Uh, not as looking as much on the defensive end. They're pushing up now on the offensive end. Got to get out of the way. And now, Eagles are playing catch up. Got to mark your man out here. And uh, the Hornets are just, just spinning that ball around. It's a good job for the Eagles defense to get reset. We'll have a throw in. Triggering it will be uh, Martin. Connor Martin for the Hornets. Another junior for this squad. Good mixture of seniors and juniors and a couple sophomores on this team. Looks like that'll be an offsides call. Right at the six minute mark remaining here in our first half. Wixom <laughs> trying to take a little bit of extra liberty on that. About 15 yards too far upfield. Linesman marks him back at the, about the 10. Uh, here's a punt, kickoff. Man, that's about 70 yards. Ryan Grill showing he's Strong enough to take it off the chest. That'll be a throw in for the Eagles. It's probably, I think we're getting some sprinkles out there. You see a couple folks covering up their head. You saw the player there kind of clean the ball off. Goal saved by number 25, Mike Fox. See the throw in right off the header. Good job of tracking it again. Fox easy save there. Almost like that was a knuckleball coming in. Ball kind of died off of the second hit. Another close to being a handball there. Off the Slain Horn. It's not called. This has been the M.O. for the Eagles the entire first half. They possess the ball. They'll get a shot on goal. But the style and formation of the Hornets and the play of Quinn inside that, uh, Quinn Fox inside the post has been stellar. They're stopping every shot. It's come his way. It's almost like the style of play for the Hornets is they lull you in to their nest. And then they sting you by getting those long outlet passes. the time of each half where players start to you know lose a little bit of energy last minutes of this opening half you guys are gonna have to get re-energized
You see a player trying to dry the ball off again. Strong throw in for the Eagles here. And here's an opportunity. Just misplayed, really. Palms sends it back towards the net. Unable to get a quality strike, though. Here's an opportunity for the Eagles. I'm sorry for the Hornets after that Eagles slip up. And you can see with the ball, it's just misplayed a little, but a little bit of a, man, that, that, that's going to hurt your head, your back, and that's, that's what happened right there. You saw the player kind of bang his head off of the turf, and he's holding the back of it. That's how you get these concussions in a lot of sports where outside of just football or hockey is when uh, a player will come down and unfortunately lose their balance. And exactly right there, Gustav Bolton taking the brunt of that, that hit. We can see some mist in the air coming down. And maybe that uh, caused the player to, to not really have his full footing going down to the ground. He was just really off of two feet there. It's really unfortunate. So with uh, yeah, 219 remaining on the clock the, in the first half. Hornets feeling good about themselves so far about how this match has played out. And right now, you can see the uh, teams going to the side. And it looks like they're going get, to get him up and going right over to the bench. A senior midfielder. Hopefully we'll see him back in the second half after taking a break. So we'll have the, the possession. We'll go back over to the Hornets. That's where play was stopped. It'll be a throw in. Substitution for the Eagles, number 24, AJ Chet. We hear our PA announcer, Nick Nowatsky, announce the new player coming in for the Hornets, and that's AJ Check, number 24. We're almost back to live action. See Chris Morgan, the head coach for the Eagles, right there at the cap on. He's a smart one with the, his arms crossed right there in the all black. He coaches both the girls and boys teams here at the at Skyline. I guess he didn't like me talking about him because he walks right off camera. Chris always wants to give you know, props to everyone else. Good guy. And now we're back to live action. <laughs> Haven't seen too many set plays. Only one corner out of the Eagles. I'm sorry, out of the Hornets. As the Eagles take back possession of the ball. That stoppage of play kind of taking some of the Aggressive momentum out of both teams. And both teams are kind of looking at that clock thinking halftime's almost here. Orange slices. Yeah. 90 seconds remaining now. This 
good? He has seen it. The Hornets. You can see on their breakouts, they have so much team speed. Kind of plays against them when they're on the offensive attack because there's so many players near the ball. Eagles again. Get possession of the ball, but the game plan maybe have to change at halftime for Chris Morgan's squad because the Hornets' defense, it sets itself so fast that the Eagles don't have any time to really work the ball around and get a quality strike. So final 30 seconds here in the first half. You can see it's not just one defender that the Eagles are trying to get through. It's multiple defenders. Fox tracks that one out of the net. Ten, nine, and Fox eight, is really just trying to seven, play this off for the end six, of the half. You can see five, him. Four, a little gamesmanship three, there, taking his two, time, and that will pretty one. much do it for our first half action that here on our CTN Sports Game of the Week. The Eagles trail the Celine Hornets by one goal. And don't go anywhere, folks. We have ourselves a full half of action coming up right here on the CTN Sports Game of the Week. Let me ask you a question. What do you value? How about access to your child's education, their football game, their swim meet, their high school musical, their academic future? Does that matter? What about your access to your government, your police, fire, and public safety, parks and recreation activities, state and local officials, the folks you elect to make decisions for your community? Is that worth anything to you? What about your rights, freedom of speech, to communicate your message, to let your voice be heard? That's got to count for something, right? So let me ask you again, what do you value? How about public educational and government access television? It belongs to you. Let's keep it that way. Did you know that CTN welcomes the members of the Ann Arbor City Council to Ward Talk? On the third Wednesday of every month, a different representative from one of the city's five wards joins us in the studio to discuss matters important to the people and government of Ann Arbor. Submit your questions for the next episode of Ward Talk by emailing ctn at a2gov.org or visiting our Twitter page at CTN Ann Arbor. And welcome back to the CTN Sports Game of the Week. I'm Kevin Bryant. Just moments away from our second half getting underway. We had a, one goal scored in the first half off of the Hornets. 
kind of a breakaway action, really, but it was an awesome pass. Take a quick look at this. Watch this pass here. I mean, this is put right on the foot of the striker, and coming in with the goal would be Zeke Gray. And now we're back to second half action. Just to recap that first half, a lot of possession for the Eagles. They just did not do a great job of finding the back of the net. But for Coach Morgan's squad, I, I got to believe that he wants a little bit more of the same. Sands that goal, of course. Both teams starting off a little strength. We did lose one player in the first half to injury. We don't see him back out there. Hopefully he's healthy for the Eagles. The Eagles came in there and you know, a little bit of a little bit of a handball. Possession. Over to the Hornets. White jerseys there. Strategy sessions at halftime, a little bit different than a lot of sports when you're coming in uh, to a soccer match, especially because the execution was really there for the Eagles. So I know Chris Morgan really wants his players to possess the ball again and, and just try to find the opening in front of Quinn Fox. Not a lot and not too much success has been scored against the Hornets all season long. So the challenge is very large for the Eagles. But for Coach Morgan, he hopes his guys can get it done as we're in the third half or the, the, the latter half of the season. The Eagles have historically had a very strong soccer team here. They've uh, been in state champs and actually won the state champions most recently about two years ago. So the squad is... A lot of players from that team have graduated, but still their winning attitude is still right with this whole squad. So now possession, go to the Eagles. You see Wixom, the keeper coming out with the ball there. He has a strong enough leg to put this one right on the mouth of the goal, so we'll see how he places this one downfield. Great play there by, I think that was Cam or Corella for the Eagles coming up with that header. I'm sorry for the Hornets coming up with the header. There's a sloppy pass off the Eagles coming in for the steal. It was Logan Dijanovic. And it looks like we'll have a card issued. Let's see the official recording that foul. Nice little trip there. And you saw the official had his head right on the play. Clock stopped for some reason, not sure why. And officials are holding play until the clock operator starts the clock back up. A free kick there, going to be triggering. It's going to be Mitch Collada for the Hornets. And here we go. Nice bending action. Just a bit wide on that shot, though. Well done there by the Eagles coming in with the intercept. Not a lot of numbers there. Hornets are fast to get back on their defense. 
very difficult to counter. Was it almost a penalty there, not called on Dejanovic. Number 10 for the Hornets. You can see he almost had a grasp of the jersey of the Eagle player coming in. Almost around the neck and uh, taking Roser Nautilinger, Logan, right down to the ground almost there. Not a lot of three-man action for the Hornets. This is what you see, a long passes. And there's a lot of contact there. Which way will this be called? And we'll go against the Hornets. And to the chagrin of number 18, Ryan Nichols. Four-year starter there. You tell me, folks. I mean, both players had hold of each other. Might have been a great opportunity for a no call. But the ball's triggered back in. Immediately coming into the play was Rodgers. Good job there. Continuing to keep control of the ball, and now it'll be a foul called on the Eagles. A lot of contact here coming into this play. Again, the players crashed into one another, and that one wasn't the call. That's the call right there coming in and you know, pushing the player away there was Palms. No harm on that foul as the shot goes wide of the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very friendly reminder that going on at the concession stands at this time, that there are pizza and hot Kind of a nonchalant play there by the Eagles defenders. Down. Sure I saw Hornet stands, streaking right to the net. Slice of pizza Eagle defenders basically had given up on the play. There's a hand that's not called. And, and now it looks like it was called. Official gave a quick glance to the linesman. for the Eagles. It's going to be Bryce Shanner. Shanner comes in with the kick. That's going to be a throw in or a corner. And it's actually going to be a corner. It was off one of the Hornets. Logan's going to trigger it there for the Eagles. Okay, he's going to bend this one hard. A lot of height on there. And that'll be a goal kick. So, that shot, another good scoring opportunity off a of scoring play. Fortunately, the ball kind of floated. After the first strike, unable to get the second one in there for the Eagles. Number one, Brady Saw tra tracking that ball was Marco Althanon. Now back to live action. Again, you see multiple players for the Eagles right near the ball, not doing a Good enough job of spreading out the defense. It's easy to guard multiple players on offense when you're like that, guys. You need to spread it out. Spread out this defense that's really sagging in for the Hornets. You can see they, they mark each player on this throw in, but there's still a free defender. A lot of holding going on, no call there. Now on the counter, Hornets up the field very quickly. This could be trouble. It's a 
Great drop pass. Unfortunate. It didn't look like uh, Stavaros was uh, ready for that drop pass off of the foot of Rogers. Just a lot of effort for the Eagles to get it upfield. Now watch this little drop pass. See, that sophomore has got to keep running through that pass because that was a good thought. Hornets, they play a confident style of play the entire game. They just seem to know where they want to be at and don't seem to be out of position. It's an errant shot, just a bit high over the top post. A misplay there by the defender. And that strike just up on the, didn't really get a good foot on it. Kind of went up to the shin of the striker. And that, of course, the ball didn't follow through into the net. You can see the fans. The Eagle fans are ready to cheer. Just not a lot to cheer for right now. And this is new because the Eagles come in on a six-game win streak. This game has been circled. Chris Morgan's schedule for a while for the Eagles. Trying to get some retribution from an early season loss. Plenty of time here to get back in this match. There's a foul there, not called by 11. Just climbed the back of the Eagle player. Almost had the crowd counting how many headers it was there. There's the Eagles now setting their defense. This will be a corner coming in. Actually a throw in. Now the Eagles would try to flip the field. Hornets constantly putting the pressure. Once they get possession of the ball, they do not waste any time turning on the offensive play. Nobody home for the Eagles on that pass. They'll just play it back on the Hornets. Quinn Fox runs out of room in that Ford pass. I think that was Devin DeVere's on the effort. Still there by Rogers. And that will be a trip call. No, actually the possession will go back over to the Eagles. And to slow down some action, this is an untimely substitution for Coach Morgan. All of that action was, you could hear the crowd just gaining some noise, hoping to cheer on these Eagles. Where's that trip at? For the Eagles, number eight, Oscar Shiomi Jensen. Now back to live action. The 
Rodgers is built like a linebacker out there. That guy. Just not a lot of clean players. I mean, there's always a player getting marked by the Hornets when the Eagles gain possession of the ball. Just a frustrating swarming style of defense that the Hornets just, just put on their opponents. And that style really tires out a team mentally and the Hornets on their attack on the counter immediately push towards the net. Nice little play coming out of the Almost a defender getting in the way of the keeper. That's the job of the keeper to let the defender know in front of him that he has the ball. So some communication challenges going on for the Eagles as well. It's a good play there by Nichols. So many new players on the squad for the Eagles. Graduated over five, uh, I think it was six seniors from last year's squad. A lot of new players out here, and you can see the continuity isn't there as you have with the Hornets. We've been playing to get a little bit more. A stoppage of play as we get some new players coming in. There's number 10 for the Hornets coming in. Dejanovic. So he'll be doing the throwing in action here. Nope. Actually, it's possession back over to the Eagles. We're right at the 23 minute mark, so 22 minutes into this second half. You can see all the players were, it's three defenders in front of the net. Well played there by the keeper, Fox. I don't even think Fox had to take a step to save that one. Let's watch this one. This one comes right. This is like playing kickball. Also substitution in for the Hornets, number eight. And you're out. Mitch Coletta. That kickball or is that dodgeball? Maybe dodgeball. Again, the Eagles pushing the ball up and nobody home. The Hornets, they're good with allowing those passes to come in long like that. I think the more the formation is confusing the Eagles because they, when they get the ball like this, you can see two and three different Hornet defenders just swarm them. Substitution. Substitution for Hornets, number 17, Zach Mitzel. And Mitzel will come back in for the Hornets. You see some of the student section. They, it might be some of the band, or somebody might have taken uh, a drum from the band because. You got somebody over there pounding it. Every time the Hornets uh, gain possession, there's somebody has a fake horn down there too. The students traveling well. Got 
Got to make some moves there if you're going to be doing some spinning. Selene player just spinning around in the same position. There's going to be a foul on the Hornets there. Looks like that was going to be on Emerson, Chris Emerson. On the pull down there. Almost kind of a kind of flop for Grill. Grill will trigger it. Again, he's the uh, few left footed uh, players we're seeing out here. He's a big guy, too. Grill, number 23, there with the ball. There's some aggressive play for the Eagles. And Selene will just play that one out for the throw in, to set their defense. Well, Logan, you've been all over the place for the Eagles. He triggers it in again with that long pass. Looks like we'll be a little bit closer for this throw in. Eagles. I'll wait till Logan runs across the field. I'm on a 53 yard sprint. And then there's a different type of throw in right off the back of your own player. And you saw Quinn come out and just scoop that one out of the air. Good job by Fox, the keeper. Let's watch this throw in, folks. <laughs> right off the back. Sometimes you see that in basketball, but it's on the, against the other team, not your teammate. Why do you just pass it to him? Why do you have to do it off his back? Eagles trying to pull all their tricks out of the bag here as we slowly approach the 18, 18 minutes left in the match. I didn't get the advantage. Did I miss it? You don't know that play? See the keeper taking sweet time to trigger the ball. It's almost like the, the Eagles are dumping it down, but if they could dribble that ball in, it seems like they would have a better opportunity, a more quality scoring shot. The Hornets are just, they seem a little bit faster on those, those balls that are in the air. So now we'll have a corner. Corner kick, skyline. Last time, I think Logan took this one a little bit too hard to the opposite side. Really wants to drop this one right at the mouth of the net. You saw a couple headers come in on the last kick. This one is not well strike. And that one comes in a little too flat. So it'll be a throw in. Kind of a winding toss there. There's a good strike, just wide of the net. That's something that uh, from AJ Check. You see the senior coming in, winding up from about the 12, about 12 yard line. If he was at the 14 yard line though, that probably would have dropped in. A couple yards too wide. Fox triggers the ball in. Celine has, yeah, they're uh, just slouching their defense back every time the Eagles get right up to midfield. Good play back. There again, when the change of possession and the Eagles just, just one roll, one bounce away from mounting an attack that could possibly put some fear into the keeper, Fox. And 
that might have gone off if it did go off of the Eagles foot. Possessional changeover. You see this often in, in a lot of games in the second half where a team is up. Coaches will be substitu substituting players pretty frequently. And that's a great way of doing a, a service on the game clock, of winding it down a little bit more. Some strategy out of these coaches. Oh, you saw the spinning action coming out of Rodgers. He knows that there's a player open on the far side of the net. He just was trying to position himself and turn for a pass. Just lost his balance. Here's Rodgers again now trying to dribble through the entire defense. Right through the five hole. Here's a strike up top. There's another one. That one's just going to be wide. So two big shots. That last one off of Ryan Nichols. Nichols, a four-year starter. We're going to take a quick look at these strikes. Here's the first one up top, and this is right off of the face area. And that's probably why that defender turned his back the second time on that strike. First time, shame on you. I'm not letting it be shame on me. That one bounced over three people's heads. Nobody touched it. And that'll be a corner now. And it looks like uh, Eagles will wait for uh, who's going to trigger this one. Looks like that's Holleran, Tom Holleran coming in to trigger this one. We do have a little bit of mist out there. You see Holleran. Actually, it was a throw in. I thought that one. Over the goal line. Oh, There's a lot of hands going on there by Rodgers. No call. And the, horn, uh, the Eagles faithful. Not pleased with that. And now it sounds like they uh, egged the official to change the call. You can see all of this pushing action. Very handy. And the linesman had pointed to possession for the Hornets. The official comes in and he changes that call. Another good strike up top. That ball's still loose. That Hornet defense. It's just stacked in there, and to get a shot on the outside, you can see it's about seven guys down there. And the Eagles are, are, are reverting to, as opposed to power shots, maybe even trying a lob to get over uh, Quinn Fox's head and through the defenders of the Hornets. Substitution for the Hornets, number two, Devin Devries, number 21, Dominic Ross. We're going to set a record for the amount of headers we've had in this game. You can see now, just on the passing of the ball, how fast the Celine Hornets defenders mark the player. They're right there on the ball. And the Eagles really don't even have that much time to think about a shot. There's a good move. That has to be a foul, right? You see some sportsmanship from the two players. They know each other well. Shanner there, Bryce Shanner getting up. Number 27 for the Eagles. You tell me, folks. I'm calling foul. 
Nice little shove down. Here's a throw in. A little bicycle opportunity. That might have been a high kick there. And that ball will go to possession over to the Hornets. Oh, this is this could have been a problem there. Inches away, but you saw Charlie Rogers. He didn't even flinch. Kind of like the Black Mamba when they were throwing the ball in his face. He didn't flinch. And now right at the 10-minute mark, remaining in the second half. So we're in the second half of the second half, final 10 minutes of this match. Switch possessions. And this is what the Eagles need. They need to get game possession and break out fast. And don't let this defense set. That was a good job. That was a pass that was right going to be on the spot. And it looks like that was number nine for the Hornets coming up and getting a foot on it. Cam Barcalera. Let's see this right here. Actually, that was number two. So now we'll have a corner. Oh, this is a good strike. Looks like it was bending a little bit more to the back post, and then it faded outside. There's a bending shot. Wow! I had a great view of that shot. I mean, it started on the outside of the, the goal post, and you can see it bending in. All that spin from Caleb Sawyers. You can see him on the follow through there. You can see it just spinning, just, man. A couple feet too high. Looked nice though. That ball will stay possess uh, possession to the Hornets. A stoppage of play here. The Hornets seem to be slowing down a little bit, working the clock. Anybody helping? And it may just be a little bit winded because they do such a good job on the defensive end. Crowd still into this match from both sides, trying to get these folks on out, out here on the pitch going for the Eagles. And this is a good opportunity for a counter. Just a faster team tonight seems to be Celine. Coming out and making a strong play was Grill. Now we have another throw in. Hollering. Ball got right up to the goal. Oh, there's an opportunity right off of the deflection. Who was that? 
and that had to be an offsides call because everybody just stopped action. Can we see? There might have even been a handball there. Either way, possession will go back over to Celine. Let's take one more look on this and see if we can see the foul. Right there, the ball changes total direction. Still couldn't quite see the foul on that play. Now we're under five minutes. make some substitutions. Eagles are going to have to pick up the pace here. Allowing precious time to go off the clock. Here's a throw in. Substitution for the Hornets. Number one, Braden Sabos. All right, here we go. Fox is taking a lot longer than six seconds to trigger that ball. I never see that call, though, for a delay game. Good job there. Just giving no opening of the cage as Wixom have a corner. Look at the strong triggering kick and it just trickles all the way down. This strike is just a bit wide by Gray. Now the Eagles see the sense of urgency with only three minutes remaining. And this isn't the Eagles' style of really trying to score fast. They're more of a possession team. This would be huge, though, if they're able to find the back of the net. Only 2.45 remaining on the game clock. See on the top of the screen there, Coach Williams for the Hornets is going to make another substitution. That'll kill another 30 seconds right here. Actually, no, not no stoppage of play. They're waiting to come back in, those guys. players just gassed. <laughs> Hornets trying to add to the scoreboard here. Oh, that's going to be a call. It's a foul on one of the Hornet players. Celine crowd isn't agreeing with the official at all on this play. Let's see here. He saw a little bit of an elbow come up there. Easy to see when you have gloves on your hands. About 90 seconds remaining in the contest. Zeke Gray, he scored only goal tonight, number 13. See him there clapping with the gloves on his hand. And see, this is what I meant when I, we were looking over at that scorer's table earlier. We're right at one minute remaining. One minute remaining in the game. And uh, the players will take their time exiting the, the field. It's kind of a gamesmanship play here to take the clock down. And the 
This ball will go out of bounds it's with 35 seconds. Uh, that's a goal. It's in the net. No, it wasn't. Sorry, folks. Now it's trigger. The Hornets now just playing it up. And that's going to be an offside call. That goal did not count. You see the official stopping the clock with 14 seconds. I'm going to give a yellow card on that, that unsportsmanlike shot. Another yellow card for Gray, and he would be gone. You see Coach Williams having a conversation with the official there. He's trying to set the ball back further than uh, Wixom had it played. And, and it looks like the uh, fans and the sideline won. So with 14 seconds left, this is going to have to be a great strike. Go, now the clock starts, and this Nine, is a good ball. There's a handball there. And we'll have a stoppage of play. It looks like we're getting a couple extra seconds on the clock. It's three point, it's uh, well over three seconds on the game clock. But that foul was committed right around six seconds. I wonder if the official will give a couple seconds extra to play here. This ball looks like it'll get triggered from about the 14 or 15 yard line, which means he'll get 10 yards from this. Let's see here. The old picket fence right in front. He didn't ask for the mark off. I would ask for my 10 feet. Actually, he just takes it back a, a, a foot. It was Bryce. And here's his, his trigger. It's going to have to be a header to get clean. And it's not. So that will do it for our game tonight. Going to take a short break. Going to go down and try to get our player of the game. We'll be right back here on CTN Sports Game of the Week. Welcome back to the CTN Sports Game of the Week. Join with our player of the game. You guys did a great job on your defense out there. Can you break that down for us on what your guys, your, your goal that you were trying to do tonight? Yeah, our goal was to just make sure they couldn't get past, you know, our defensive line. It was a good overall effort from our team. I thought that everyone covered well and marked up well in the box. Really, in the second half, we really clamped up. Well, and now you, you scored the only goal of the night, but it was on a great pass, and you, you went right to the goal. Can you, you tell us a little bit about that play? So my, my forward, Ryan Nichols, got a ball, a great ball in behind the ball, yeah. and slotted it right to me across on, like, the 20. And I just took a couple of touches, finished it, right, five-hole the goalie. Well, a, I, 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 I'm, I'm cutting you off because it was such a great goal. We're, yeah. we're going to see it again. Well, congratulations on a good win tonight and being our CTM player of the game. And good luck on the rest of the season. Thank you. It's an honor. All right. Well, that will do it for our CTM Sports Game of the Week. I hope you enjoyed it all. Before we go, i got to say thank you to all the cameramen, the operators back in the truck, and you for tuning in to our CTM Sports Game of the Week. So until next time, I'm Kevin Bryant. We'll see you again right here on CTN Sports.